Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Dark Toy Lord here. Today we're taking a look at this Machine Robo 04 Battle Robo by Action Toys. Take a look at the packaging first. On the front we have a picture of the robot. Turning it to the side, there's another picture of the robot. Opposite side has a picture of the tank mode. And then on the back, again, a picture of the tank. So let's go ahead, get this opened up, and take a closer look at the toy itself. So the contents include instruction manual, plus addendum. Figure is actually a two-tray system. Figure is in the top tray. Bottom tray is for the display stand. So we're gonna put the display stand to the side, and we'll look at the action figure first. In the tray we have the figure plus his weapon and this is the attachment for the display stand. All right first off let's go ahead and see how tall this guy is. So it looks like he is a little bit shy of five inches. So figure is both plastic and die cast metal. In regards to articulation his head can move side to side. Shoulders up and down, plus they can swing outward. Have a upper arm swivel. Plus a little bit more than 90 degrees on the elbow. Waist can move side to side. Hips are on ball joints. Upper legs have a swivel, 90 degrees on the knee, and the foot here is on a ball joint. So real quick, here's his handgun. Uh, one thing that I don't like about this handgun is that it's got a, it's got a hinge here, it moves up and down, and it doesn't exactly lock in place. So I just kind of have a feeling that that's gonna cause a problem. It's not exactly a stiff joint so although it's not flopping around it's really easy to move. So you can either attach it in his hand like so or you can actually plug it into his forearm as well like that. Alright so moving on to the transformation. First off let's go ahead we're gonna bring the arms upward like this turn them around, we're gonna take the turrets and point them down. And we're gonna take the whole upper chest assembly and we're going to flip it forward, like so. Then we can come here, these little cannons here that were spun around, the top half pegged into them, so we're just gonna spin them back now. And we can move the arms back, like this. Well, actually, before we move the arms, let's fold the hands in. So the hands fold right into the forearms. And then we can push those forearms, I mean, those arms back. And they'll actually peg into each other. All right, and for our next step, let's go down the legs here. And we're going to pop these guys open. So, bring the whole, bend the whole uh, waist back, and then we're going to fold these guys up. And this is where it's a little bit tricky, uh, just because there's not a lot of clearance here. So we need to fold the legs up over the arms, like so. Again, we're folding the leg up. We want this panel here to cover the arm. Sometimes it's just a little tricky to get it over. And once you do, everything pegs into place. We're gonna come around here to what were the feet. And we're gonna spin them around. And they're going to peg in right here to the front of the tank. can 
take the turrets, we're gonna spin this whole assembly like so. And then let's grab the gun and this will actually plug in right here. Supposedly. There we go. So that plugs in there. And there you have it. So it's a small little tank. The uh, turret can spin around. Cannons go up and down. Uh, initial thoughts? Um, although I, I still like the toy, it was one of my favorites growing up. Uh, some things I don't like about it, I don't necessarily care for how the feet fold in over the front of the tank. Um, maybe it would have been better off if they could have folded back onto the sides here. Uh, just having them cover the front of the tank like that. I don't know, it's a little off for me. Uh, my other concern, I'm not sure why they did this, but all these tank treads here are on ball joints. So they all move around pretty freely. <laughs> Which is, I don't know, kind of awkward for a tank. Um, I, would, I would just assume to have them in a fixed position. Um, so it doesn't look so, uh, I guess, sloppy. Uh, there's no wheels on him, so he doesn't actually roll. Just kind of hangs out. Okay, so I assembled the display stand off camera, uh, just because there were no instructions for doing so. So I was just kind of playing around until I found a configuration that I liked. Uh, the picture they show in the instructions, there's two pictures. Um, one is the stand like this, but there's rails on the bottom, so it actually has it leaning forward. Um, the other one is actually looks like two uh, display stands together, uh, and the back wall comes up pretty much higher than the figure would be. But this is a configuration that I managed to put together, and I like it pretty well. Uh, so I want the figure standing flat on the base. I put the railings here on the side. Then additional railings here along the back. And you were given two of these pieces for the arm. So I got one piece holding the two railings together here. I still have the um, three ports here for these, uh, these joints. So I have one joint that's not used in this configuration, but as you can see, I have the second joint. And then there's the other arm right here. And then another joint plugging in to the adapter that I plugged into the back of the figure. So overall thoughts, uh, the arm cannon, I don't like how flimsy that joint is. Uh, in uh, Battle Robo in tank mode, I don't like how the feet fold over the nose of the tank. Uh, but I really think that might be my only two major concerns. I do like the uh, articulation on the figure. I do like the design, the updated look of some of the old classic GoBots that I used to have as a kid. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really liking the series. I can't wait to see what else they have coming out. Um, if you're in the market, I definitely recommend it. I'll definitely be looking for more. Um, as they come out, I'll be buying them and then doing the reviews. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.